Hello folks, let's imagine that we've got a union type that looks like this, where we have add to do, remove to do and edit to do as part of the union. And this is a common pattern in kind of like old Redux applications. Now, this action type here, we've actually got a constants.ts file, like right next to it, which has all of the elements of the union. They're even inferred by TypeScript because we have add to do is actually not inferred as a string, it's inferred as the literal add to do. Same as remove to do, edit to do. So there must be a way that we can extract this information and create the union type dynamically. Because otherwise, whenever we add a new element here, we've also got to add it to the new place. It's just not very dry. So if we go to types, what we can do is we can say export type action module. And we're going to use this funky little bit of um, TypeScript syntax, which is type of import constants. And you can use any kind of normal import that you would here. And it just grabs the information from constants and creates a new uh, type out of it. So we can say export const action module is um, action module like this. And you can see that it has all of the elements in there. So if we remove one of the exports from constants, for instance, like if we just take this off, then it won't be a part of this types anymore, which is quite clever. Now, what we want to do then is we want to take this action module type and we want to turn it into the action below, if I just re-add this export. And the way that we can do that is we can use a trick that we've done before, which is take the values of an object and turn them into a union, which we just do like this. We say action module and then key of action module. What that does is it takes the keys of the action module, the exported keys, and it sort of iterates over them. So we end up with add to do, remove to do, edit to do that will stay in sync with our actual code.